So I got Tommy Stevens here to um, play DB for me. He's not a DB, but just get a body. Um, and we're gonna, I'm gonna explain to you uh, what stacking means and what getting back vertical means after you get a good release, kind of how we were just going over the releases. This is after you get a good release and you wanna set up the rest of your route, what that, what that looks like. So get low a little bit for me. So Tommy's right here in a good, good position. Right here, I use the, I'm gonna use a two-step jab on him, boom, boom. Now I'm back outside, he's gonna turn and run, we gonna hand fight. Let's say, you know, you got a good DB on you, he's pretty even with you. What you don't wanna do, the worst thing you can do, like I said earlier, is let him push you into the sideline. You're supposed to be running a go route, a, a in route, and you're just getting pushed out, out wider and wider. That just makes the field sh smaller and smaller, and it makes it, the job for the QB just really hard. So after you get that good stack, Boom, press back into him. If he's even with you, hand fight, press back into him. And, and when you do a drill like this, you wanna use a line. That's why we're on this blue line right here. Um, that's, that's a good you know, waypoint for you. You know, if you get a little bit outside of it, you're good. But if you find yourself, every time you're working on goal routes and you're working on holding that line, you find yourself right next to the sideline, then you really, gotta, you really gotta figure out what you're doing wrong. Do you need to be more physical with the DB? Do you, need to, do you need to work more on just the speed part of it and running? Um, so like I said, he turns with you, run. You can always press back into him. But at some point, pressing back into him, you, you got to be going slower to, to do that. So at some point, and this is the best case scenario, is to hold your line, you get a full stack. You kill him off the line, boom. He turns and runs, and you can get all the way. You put him behind you. That's, that's, that's a full stack. You, you're on your line. You're running full speed. The quarterback can throw the ball anywhere, keep you away from the safety. And, uh, and even if you're not running the go route, you get that full stack, he's behind you. Keep your shoulders square because now he has to respect every move you make. You know, you're running like this. You just do a quick jab like this and look outside. He's got to respect it. Boom, now you're inside. He's, he's completely behind you. And you study your feet a little bit. He's, he's either going to run up, up the back of you and get a flag or he's got to respect it. Every move you make at this point, he's got to respect. So this is the, literally the best position you could be in. It's called getting the cornerback stacked and keeping your shoulders square. That's called a four-way position because you can go either direction, even stopping and going back. Um, that's a four-way and a stack for you.